Tag TV brings you daily news bulletin from India. Breaking news and views from India. Good evening. Welcome to South Asia Newsline. I'm Surabhi Sharma. Here are the top stories we're tracking for you on Thursday, the 15th of August. India marks 73rd Independence Day with nationalistic fervor. Afghan President clarifies stance on talks with Taliban. And Nepal bans absentee license officers for fudging attendance. And now for all the details. India on Thursday celebrated its 73rd Independence Day with fervent zeal and patriotism. Addressing the nation, Prime Minister Narendra Modi spoke on issues ranging from Jammu and Kashmir, water conservation and also announced the major decision to create the new post of Chief of Defence Staff that will integrate the operations of the three forces. India on Thursday celebrated its 73rd Independence Day with fervent zeal and patriotism. Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi addressed the nation on the occasion. He unfurled the national flag and delivered the customary address to the nation from the ramparts of the Red Fort. Addressing the nation on Independence Day, Prime Minister Modi spoke on issues ranging from Jammu and Kashmir, the flooding in several provinces and welfare schemes for the farmers. In a major announcement for the three armed forces of India, the Prime Minister announced that the country will now have a post of Chief of Defence Staff or CDS that will integrate the operations of the three forces, the Indian Army, the Indian Navy and the Indian Air Force. Speaking about the decision, he said this is important to be in sync with the changing nature of war and security in the world. Chief of Defence Staff, CDS, is ki vyavastha karenge. Aur is pat ke gathan ke baad, tino senao ke sirsastu tar par, ek prabhavi indet putpa milega. Hindustan ke samarit dunia ki gati mein, ye CDS, ek bahut ahem, aur reform karne ka jo hamara sapna hai, uske liye bal dena wala kaam hai. Independence Day celebrations were also held in Leh city of Ladakh that was recently made a union territory by the Indian government. People enthusiastically participated in the celebrations. Locals were seen dancing and merrymaking on the occasion. Traditional dance where a group of people move in a long serpentine line was the highlight of the day. Meanwhile, India's 73rd Independence Day was also celebrated with patriotic fervour in Nepal. Besides officials and their family members, people enthusiastically participated on the occasion at the Consulate General of India in Nepal's Birganj. On 15th August 1947, India achieved freedom from British rule and became a sovereign nation. In news from Afghanistan, clarifying the Afghan government's stance on upcoming negotiation with the Taliban, President Ashraf Ghani has said a new deal is not being considered in this process. The US and the Taliban negotiators wrapped up peace talks in Qatar recently and are expected to sign a peace agreement soon. Afghan President Ashraf Ghani clarified the government's stance on upcoming negotiations with the Taliban and said a new deal is not being considered in the process. He made this statement at his ceremony in the Ministry of Defence in Kabul earlier this week. Ghani said a joint statement will be announced on the first day of the negotiations with the Taliban, which will define the Afghan government as a legitimate government, which represents all the people of Afghanistan. He said the statement will also define the Afghan National Defence and Security Forces as a legitimate partner of the international forces in the fight against terrorism. The US and the Taliban negotiators wrapped up the eighth round of peace talks in Qatar recently. The two sides are expected to sign a peace agreement within the next few days, which will provide the ground for US troop withdrawal and reduction of violence in Afghanistan, 
This will also facilitate intra-Afghan negotiations. Moving on, political activists recently held a protest against the governor of Gilgit, Baltistan, blaming him for corruption and poverty in the illegally occupied region. The protesters demanded the governor's resignation and an investigation against him. A protest was held recently by political activists in Gilgit, Baltistan over rampant corruption and rising poverty in the illegally occupied region. The protesters raised slogans against Gilgit, Baltistan governor Raja Jalal Hussein Makpoon and demanded his resignation, blaming him for corruption. They blamed the governor has encroached the land which was acquired from the common public for the development of civil aviation decades ago. They demanded the National Accountability Bureau to investigate the matter, claiming they have evidence against the governor. غریب لوگ مر رہے ہیں اور ادھر یہ لوگ اپنے کرپشن میں مصروف ہے تو ہمیں مجبوراً یہ احتجاج کرنا پڑا اور تحریک چلانے پڑی کہ گلگت بلدستان میں پاکستان تحریک انصاف کے گورنر آئے ایک سال ہو گیا ایک سال میں ہم چاہتے تھے کہ کچھ نظر آئے عوام کو عمران خان صاحب کی تبدیلی مگر ایسا اس کے بدقسمتی سے نہیں ہوا Political activists have for long blamed there is a stooge government in Gilgit, Baltistan, which only helps Islamabad fill its treasuries through economic depredations. Protests have become a common sight in the illegally occupied region, with people expressing their anger against Pakistan, which has always given a biased treatment to them. In East from Nepal, Licensed officers who were at fault during this year's climbing season at Mount Everest have been banned for life by Nepal's tourism ministry. Eleven climbers were killed on the world's highest mountain this climbing season. Licensed officers in Nepal who faked their presence during this year's summit window at the Mount Everest have been banned for life. The action by Nepal's tourism ministry against the officers came after receiving a report from the committee who probed into various issues regarding mountaineering, including reasons behind deaths of 11 climbers in this climbing season at the Mount Everest alone. The report has revealed that only 24 out of the 37 licensed officers deployed for the season had reached the Everest base camp. <laughs> त्यो रिपोर्ट आयु छा वहाँ आयु को को हो हमी पसी कुने अवस्था में त्यो बनी बन्नो शक्त हों तो त्यो अलग संख्या अभी वहाँ ले बन्नो के इस संख्या तेज़ तो छा अब वहाँ हर लाइट से आगामी दिन में लिया जो ऑफिसर होना बड़ा अब वहाँ आयु लाइफ बंदे जगह की कुछ नेपाल इस होम टू एट ऑफ़ द वर्ल्ड्स फोर्� but the number of people attempting the climb in May this year led to crowding in the so-called death zone where the oxygen level is low. That put lives at risk as oxygen cylinders ran out while up to 100 people waited in the queue. A seven-day film festival is underway in India's northern Ladakh region to promote film culture of the region among the locals and tourists. A week-long film festival called Little Tippet Films Festival has been organized in Lay City of India's Northern Ladakh region on Tuesday. Several internationally acclaimed films by artists across the region are being showcased at the event. The event aims to appreciate Ladakhi filmmakers for producing a number of films and documentaries which highlight the unique culture and tradition of Ladakh. दो शब्दों में ये कहना चाहूँगा लद्दाख का फिल्म जो है वो केवल मनोरंजन का फिल्म तक सीमित नहीं रहते हैं लद्दाख का फिल्म जो है जो आप अपने आँखों से जो लद्दाख देख रहा है उसके पीछे के लद्दाख जो छुपे हुए उसका कल्चरल एसेंस जो है यहाँ के आइडेंटिटी है यहाँ के कोएग्जिस्टेंस सोसाइटी है यहाँ के फ्रजाइल इको सिस्टम है यहाँ के जो 
जो अनपोल्यूटेड जो इन्वामेंट है ये सारा इस फिल्म के द्वारा जो है पूरी दुनिया को दर्शाते हैं इसलिए मैं ये कहूँगा कि किसी को वाकई लद्दाख जानना है बियॉन्ड द माउंटेन बियॉन्ड द फेस बियॉन्ड द ड्रेस्ट अगर आपने लद्दाख जानना है तो कृपया करके इस एक फिल्म को ज़रूर देखिएगा आई एम रियली वेरी हैप्पी टू प्रजेंट माई मूवी हेयर ऑन द इन लद्दाख इन माई सॉइल and because of uh, this little tibet uh, film festival bring something completely different organized by uh, all the local organization here the event has been organized by tendril a non-profit organization in collaboration with the himalayan film house and ladakh media and culture society it will continue till august 18 A nine-year-old girl in northeast India who cried after trees planted by her were cut down has been appointed as a green ambassador. This came after video of her crying went viral on social media. Ilang Bang Valentina, a nine-year-old girl from Kachin district of India's northeast in Manipur province, has been appointed as the ambassador of Chief Minister's Green Manipur Mission after a video of her crying over axing of trees that she had planted went viral. Valentina, a fifth standard student, had planted two gulmohar or royal poinsettia trees by the side of a river when she was in first grade. The two trees planted by Valentina were cut down for a project to widen a road beside the river on August 3 After cutting down the trees planted by Valentina the forest department of Manipur had provided 20 saplings which were planted along the road covering about 1.24 miles on her request She will now remain the brand ambassador for a period of 1 year and will also be part of all official tree plantation activities organized by the Manipur government. People across India on Thursday celebrated Raksha Bandhan, the sibling festival where sisters tie decorative threads on the wrists of their brothers as a mark of the revered bond between them. People across India on Thursday celebrated Raksha Bandhan, the sibling festival where sisters tie rakhi, a decorative wristband on the wrists of their brothers as a mark of the revered bondage between them. Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi also celebrated the Raksha Bandhan at his official residence in New Delhi. School children, widows living in old age homes and religious preachers visited the prime minister's residence and performed the traditional ceremony of tying rakhis on his wrist. This year the sibling festival coincided with the Independence Day and nationalistic fervor was also evident among people. Raksha Bandhan symbolizes the eternal bond of love between a brother and a sister. Dressed in their finery, sisters dob foreheads of their brothers with vermilion and tie colorful rakhis on their wrists and pray for their happiness. सुबह से हमने मिठाई और मिठाई की थाल सजाई उसमें राखी रखी और आरती की अपने भाई की और उन और भगवान से प्रार्थना किया कि उन्हें हमेशा इस रक्षाबंधन पर आगे बढ़ते रहें. रक्षाबंधन is celebrated on the full moon day of the Hindu month of Shravan in India. The festival is celebrated with fervor and gaiety among people from different communities. On their part the brothers pledge to protect their sisters' honor and present them gifts as a token of the bonding. Well that's the way it was in South Asia this evening before we conclude the top stories once again. India marks 73rd Independence Day with nationalistic fervor. Afghan president clarifies stance on talks with Taliban. And Nepal bans absentee license officers for fudging attendance. Now viewers can watch the show on southasianewsline.com. You can also visit us on facebook.com/sasianewsline. 
and follow us on Twitter at S Asia Newsline. It's all in tonight's edition. We will see you same time tomorrow. Good night. Tag TV brings you daily news bulletin from India. Breaking news and views from India.